the gaming segment. Hey, hey. Do, 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 do. What's going on, y'all? Your boy Coach E in the house. Crane Violet in the house. Doing our thing here, the Game of Five podcast, where we're going to enter into the gaming segment of our podcast today of this episode. Having fun as per usual. So, it is Dream Hack Weekend in Atlanta, Georgia. I think last weekend was uh, Anime Weekend in Atlanta, I believe. Um, there's been a lot of cool things going on. Um, and so, one of the cool things that's on feature at Dream Hack are the game designers. So, you have your AAA studios with the big games, um, of course. All the ones you know. But then you have a good indie area, independent game designers. And I love independent game designers, just like I love independent music artists, uh, even independent filmmakers. You know, they still are doing it for the love because they haven't really made all the money. And plus, they they have a lot of freedom to really, really do things that um, they think is pretty good. I was watching uh, um, Uncensored with uh, Dion Cole, the comedian. Uh, it was pretty cool to watch. And, you know, he talked about that a lot. You know, he did a lot of work with a lot of people um, and, and in mainstream, but what it boiled down to at the end of the day was after he proved himself and after he had some staying power, which means he just stayed around for a while, he actually had an opportunity to do things his way, things that he thought was funny, the things that he thought was interesting. He, did, he was being pushed to go away from that. But ultimately, that's what the thing was that really helped him to catch on to do some of the wonderful things that he had done um, since he was part of the industry uh, on the comic side. And then he got into acting and writing and all of those different things. Um, but like I was saying, with the indie game developers, it's just like raw gameplay. Um, really fun, really interesting. They get to do different types of music, different types of graphics. Um, it could be a 3D game, VR game. It could be a puzzle game. It could be, uh, you know, a, a shooter, a fighter, all kind of stuff. And it's very interesting. They get to play around with those genres. So what we're going to do today, though, Jay Black, we're going to help you invent a game. So this is kind of what we do at Ferrell's Conclave when we are um, teaching game design, um, the process. So we're going to do this in about 14 minutes. We're going to make a game up in 14 minutes. I think we can do that. All right, so I'm going to ask you a couple of questions, and then I'm going to let you lead out on it. So a couple, couple items that I brought out. First, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. If you could do a game, what would be – let me ask you this. If there's an issue growing up, right, or in your community or something that you see right now, if you had the power to change it or, or bring awareness to, what would that issue be? Oh, I mean, that would kind of be what I'm doing now. You're going in and out a little bit. I would say – Black economics. Okay, black economics. We'll do that. So what, what part of black economics? Building a community, like building sustainable businesses, having the money flow within the community. Okay. Things of that nature. Okay, cool, cool. Still going out just a little bit in and out on the mic. Um, switch out the, uh, to a different set. Oh, Lord, you knocked everything down. <laughs> All right, so, hey, this is live, y'all. You know, sometimes we, we, we do what we do, y'all. It's three the bad one. Try one. Try one. And let's turn it on. Uh, Why does it not? Okay, it's yellow, so I think it's about ready to go. Go again? Nah. Try. Man, I had you like, and I don't know if it was the proximity to the microphone. Yeah, let's try that. And then it's, okay, go for it. Check, check, check. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah, uh, it might be you got to lean into it a little bit. I don't know why. Usually they pick up pretty good, but, you know, it's cold outside. You know, you know, technology, they up. cold. <laughs> <laughs> got to warm that thing up. Get it, oh, I ain't going to I'm about to rub on the microphone. That was going to look very inappropriate. <laughs> As my students would say, pause. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, so black economics, cool, cool, cool. Black economics, money flow, got you. Okay, we got an issue, right? We got about we got six minutes. We probably gonna bleed over into the arts and anime. We are gonna keep this going. It's gonna be kind of the running theme of this game that we're gonna create. All right, black economics. What would be the name of the game? The name of the game would be. 
can't take Wakanda forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna say uh <laughs> Journey to Greatness. All right, Journey to Greatness, the Wakanda effect. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw Wakanda in there. We're gonna we're gonna use that right. Journey to Greatness, the Wakanda effect. All right, cool. So one of the things, if if anybody has watched, did you go see the movie? I did. I'm going Tuesday. Oh, okay, 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 okay. One of the things, if you notice, um, the theme was whenever they showed Wakanda, they showed people in the community that dollar circulating mm-hmm. in the community. Um, with it with each other you know and not outside it was you know they did what they needed to do together they built the technology they they harvest the grain they grew the food caught the food whatever needed happen they made the garments and they used everything that was around them including the vibranium they threaded that into their stuff so you know that was always a part of it so all right the wakanda effect journey to greatness all right so in a lot of role-playing games you have what are called you have these die, and then the, these different die, you can have a uh, 20-sided die, like one I'm holding right here is a 20-sided die, okay? This is a, I think this is, yep, this is a 16, no, nope, no, this is a 20 as well, this is a 20 as well, okay, about the same size, okay, got 20 side, oh, got three 20-sided die, cool, and we got this one right here, this is an eight-sided, we got another eight-sided, we got a, this is a regular, oh, this is a, no, this is eight-sided, so I got three eight-sided. I got this triangle right here that's just real interesting. So I don't know how you do that, how you pick the one. Okay, whatever's pointing straight up, I got you. That's what you roll. I'll roll two twos in a row. That's a four. Okay, I'll see how that rolls. And then a regular six-sided die, all right? So I'm going to take one six, one eight. I'm going to take the, the pyramid, and then I'm going to use, for color, I'm going to use the, the – uh, the green uh 20 sided die all right so we got three different die here now formal and dramatic elements that's the things that make a game a game so you have your rules you come up with your rules uh how to play the game you know what i'm saying you know and then all the way to how do you win how do you move all that good stuff how do you uh score points and stuff like that so based on that um you can assign a die to that okay all right so uh, the six-sided die, your traditional six-sided is, we can say, uh, for one through six means um, how many steps you can take, okay? Now, the triangle die, or the pyramid, we'll say, we'll call it pyramid. The pyramid die, which goes up to four, right? Goes up to four, pyramid, four sides. That makes sense, right? Goes up to four. So we're going to say the pyramid is, we'll say the pyramid is your moves, the six is how much money you have to make the move. The eight is how much, how many partners you have to go into it with you. And then the 20, anything, let's say 20, 20 divided by five, right? So uh, four, uh, five and below is what? What would you make that? Five and below means what? Then six and below, six to five means what, I mean, not six to five, 10 to five means what, 15 to nine, basically, 15 to 11 means what, and then anything above 15 is what? As far as like what? The cap- it could be anything. So we talk about economics. Is is it a good thing to to score something? It could be your credit score. It could be, okay, it be your credit, credit score. score. You up and down points, right? Okay, cool, credit score. We got credit score. We got number of moves you can make, um, number of partners, how much resources you're going to start with, number of partners, and credit score. All right? Anything anything below, five or below is bad. <laughs> five <laughs> below is bad. Um, you, got, you got the middle moderate. So we'll make it a, a middle, a good middle. So anything up to 15 is a moderate score. And then anything above 20, you basically can get what you want to get. All right, got your bet. All right, cool. All right, so we got the die that can do that. All right? So we do that. Now, all you got it. so... Each person gets a turn and then go with it. So we're going to establish your business from the beginning. And that's how you do it from the beginning. So this is your black business. And you have the people. They can come up with the name of their business. All right. So it's the Wakanda Effect, Journey to Greatness. Name of my business is Pharaoh's Conclave, right? Innovative Black Station. 
we we'll just make it real easy. Make it real easy for us, right? All right. So now, here we go. Let's see what, what time time we're looking at. So we're making a game, y'all, and I'm letting y'all do this. So y'all can model. Y'all can do this at home. You can do it with your kids. You're great. We still got six minutes, so we're good. We're good. We still got six. We got six minutes. So, all right. I'm gonna roll for you. All right. All right. Cool. Cause you just first game, so we're gonna find out how many moves you get to make. All right. All right. You only get to make one move, brother. I ain't cheating him. You only get to make one move. So Innovative Black Station only get to make one move. Now, Ferris Congo gets to make four moves. All right, so now, think about it like this. You're starting your company, and where you are right now because of, you know, you only got one move to make versus four moves to make. Now, usually... You know, we, our counterparts of other persuasions can have four different moves that they can make. Whereas we end up with like one, right. (laughs) You know, like life. (laughs) Same like life, right? (laughs) So it just depends on who you're around, who you know, where your opportunities came from. Now we're going to talk about the resources that you have. All right. All right, here we go. This is your role. Two. (laughs) Two. (laughs) You got a two. All right. How many resources do I have? Five. All right. One move you can make, two resources. two resources you can use, all right? And so we can say that's like two grand to start with, and I got five grand to start with. We, we can kind of assign the dollar amount to it, right? I got f- four things made, and I got five grand. So that means I can spend $1,000 for every move I make with an extra $1,000 in reserves. Mm-hmm. Whereas you got one move, so you can spend either your whole 2000 on that one move, or you can make that one move, and you got 1000 that maybe buy you another move down the road. So you can get some good credit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe so. All right, let's see how many partners you got to divide your money up by. All right, here we go. Sole proprietor. Hey, sole proprietor. (laughs) It's the number one. All right, cool, cool, cool. Here we go, here we go. Uh Uh-oh, I'm a sole Sole proprietor as well. Okay. All right. So we we both doing it that way. We both solo dolo. And so even talking in that, you can talk about, and so in the game, it's maybe teaching about business. So we can talk about what does that mean, a sole proprietorship. Okay, and then what what can you do? Do you want to be an LLC or do you want to do different things? And so it goes all the way up to eight partners. So then do you need to be an S Corp or corporation, that kind of stuff? And then shares, you can start to have those kind of conversations with that, right? Now, let's talk about this credit. Bad, okay, or great credit? Great credit. You got an eight, brother. Eight. That's the middle. middle. That's in the middle. Okay, okay, not bad. I'm in the middle too, so we both got middle credit. All right, you know, it ain't bad, ain't good. Yours is slightly better than mine because you got an eight, I got a seven, but you know, we good. We in that middle range. All right, cool. All right, so we got one move to make. One move to make. All right, so that one move, what would it be? What you gonna try to do? do Yeah, what you gonna do with your money? Save it. (laughs) You saving? Yeah, save it. Okay, you're saving, you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna sit down, all right? Now you're saving. So let's see what did that decision help you do. You decided to save. So now what does that do? Does that give you, uh, how many more moves does that give you to do? Saving. It only gave you an additional move to make. Okay. So you're saving. So now you got, all right, for me, I got two. Okay. I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to do what you said. We saying saving was going to be good. So that gave me two additional moves. They gave you one additional move. So now, the, well, you only got one move now because you right. saved. So you still only got one move to make. Right, right. But for me, since I spent one of my moves, to if saving was a move, that brought me down from, because I started with four, that brought me down to three. But I just got wrote, one back. I, got, I got one back. So, you got so four. I'm at four. Wait, three? No, I had two. Right? Oh, you got two. So you got Yeah, five. I hit it two. So I'm at five. Okay. So saving for me, Actually, was a good thing, all right? So that ain't bad. Okay. Cool. Now. So these your moves. The rest is your moves, right? Well, uh, this is still based off of saving. Oh, so we're okay. going to figure out what happened with saving. So okay. probably what you will do, probably what we want to do is kind of have a sheet where you can write down what happens. Right. It's almost like a role-playing game. So you you building up. This is the first phase of it. So the first round is just you making that one move and you building off of it. Okay. Right? The next round, I get to say what the move is, and we all go based off of that move. Okay. Now, being that I got more resources, I'm probably going to pick a move that's more risky yeah. that would probably be more adverse to you yeah. than it would be me. But we'll see. We'll see. All right. You got your three grand in your saving. So four now. So now you're up to four because you had two. Okay. All right. All right. So for me, 
Uh, my one move cost me a grand, so it took me. I had five, didn't I? Yep. You started off with five. Started off with five, so I'm down to four, and I get to add another four to it. So I got, I'm up to seven. Okay. Did we do that right? No, no. Eight. I got eight grand because I went down to four. Just added four more to it because you went down from oh, two to one. Oh, you went down from five to four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah gotcha. So All right, so I doubled, I doubled my money. All right, I'm up to eight. Okay. Now, any more partners? Are we still staying the same? We, we decided to save, but now the year has passed, and this is what has happened. So now, ooh, what you decided to add eight partners to what you're doing. Added a team, okay. You added a whole team. Okay. All right. That's all right. what the save was for. Okay, okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now you got to give it. How much money did we say you was up to? I made like 2000 Is it just two? Yeah, because I got another 1000 Or did I get 2000 so I'm at three. I'm you at had three. three. You had 3000 yeah, So now you got to split 3000 amongst five people. I mean, amongst eight people. So ain't nobody can. But as a, as, as a, I can. But that I can, ain't bad, though. Can, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, can race. We ain't say what the race now, is. I, I, I'm going to tell you, uh, but I ain't told you what I want the move, my move to be. So I'm looking at what's happening to you. Right. And then, and this is what businesses do. If you're a stronger company, you might force another company to, to do something right. and it may mess them up. All right. For me. I'm still a sole proprietorship. Okay. So I'm still, I'm, I'm hoarding my money. I still mine. I get to kind of make all the decisions. I ain't got to do nothing different. And my credit score, your credit score is, your credit, so I don't know what happened. What number is that? A one. So I wonder, so it just what? Do we, do we subtract? You wait from the one? So I go to seven? So, okay, we could do it that way. Well, yeah. Or it, it's the range of where you are. So you had middle credit, but now after a year, your credit's bad. Now maybe you had something going on, and we can look at it that way. Because if I make a move okay. and I go to one, my credit shot for some. So we have to really put it, split the dip, put it in the middle. Yep, exactly. So you you are you still are bad. You're you're in the bad range now. So I'm about at what four? Something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Fours. And so what I what we could do is based on the numbers, we'll know what range that puts you in based okay. on that. So that'd be another thing that we'd add to it. All right, my so why, hold on. Why we couldn't use why? Why was my only resource I could use was the money? Huh? Why was the re, the only resource I was able to use was the money? It didn't have to be. I mean, we so just called the like, money why, for right why, now. Why, why wasn't ahead. I able to leverage my credit on the first one? Like when we rolled, when we came back around and restarted the, the and start rolling again, when you rolled the triangle for the second time. Why wasn't I able? It to was leverage? only save. The move you made was saving. Saving. But I could have used my credit. So when your move comes back, oh, I used when you come back, you can use, well, no, we, you start with the move every time. Okay. So it, it's always after, after the first thing we, we establish what we were, right? Okay. How many moves you can make, how much money, how much money, this is money. So how much money you got, how many partners, what's the credit score? Mm -hmm. Second round around, we, we set, so the first move that everybody had to do was establish the company, right? Right. The second one was you get to say what the move is going to be. So you said, I'm going to take that move and say, I'm just going to say. Oh, but I could have said, I want to take my credit and buy this. You could have said, yeah, you could have did something like that. Uh, and then it would have okay. changed that. And then whatever you said it was, I was going to have to do the same thing that you did. Uh, okay. Okay. And so like when I come, when it's my turn, I get to say what the move is going to be that I'm going to use my move. And so you have a tally list. So you know how many moves you got and you can go from there. I mean, you know, we 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 making this up as we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, this is the kind of questions that you have when you go through the cycle. You're making it, yeah. You're making it up, right? Yeah. And you're trying to figure out what works. All right. And that's pretty cool. Cause some will come up and be like, oh, we could have did this. So, but remember, you saved, you got a, you got an extra move mm. when you did that. Right. So after we make my move, you get to make another move. Okay. Right? And then you can change that to be what you be based on the outcomes. Okay. So now that you know your credit's bad, maybe you say, okay, I want to do this on my resources. So then we'll do the roles again and see what applied. Okay. I mean, you know, you can kind of make it up as you go. It's kind of fun. Uh, where we at? Credit? My credit? Yeah, your credit. I yeah. haven't done my credit yet. Let's see. I, my credit might be shot too. I went down to a two. So we both got bad credit so we right about, now. We about, four, about the same. Yeah, we, we about the same. Like, my credit is one, it's even actually pretty much. Because you went down one, I went down two, and I was up one. So, like, I'm a little less. But, I mean, you know, we'll assign that number later. Right. All right, so now we're back in. Now I get to make moves. Okay. Okay. I can say, uh, whatever we do right now, this move, uh, whatever happens, it takes, it's going to be the opposite effect. 
So whatever comes up is going to be the opposite effect. So we, we, we being risky. We finna go out there and risk it. Okay. So everything is opposite. So this is your role. You got only one move to make. So either it's going to, like, I could, like, pretty much bankrupt you on this. Take so your if I, say if I could roll a one again. If you roll a one again. I get the whatever the highest number is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the opposite. So, okay. yeah, if I roll a one, you're good. But if you roll high, you know, it, 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 it subtracts right. the other way, right? The lower the number, the better in this situation. Yes, in this situation. Exactly. It's the opposite. So, here we go. So, but if you get a big number, you're bad. Yeah. All right, here we go. But it's only one to four, so it ain't that bad. Right, and I still got 3000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the money. That's the money. Yeah. But we're going to roll and we're going to subtract, though. All right. All and right. then we do the same thing. And it could just take you negative, and then you just have to roll with it being negative where you can't do a move, but you can apply your resources yeah. instead because you got resources left over. All right, right, So right. Let, let's, let's, play, let's play that thought. Okay. All right, so I just rolled a three. So that means you're in a negative two move. So you okay. ain't got no moves you can make. You can only use resources on the next round where I can do a move, but you can't. So then now you can't even say a move. So I don't why know. Can I, why can't I, if, it's, if I got three, why can't I just pay it out? You you could buy that's a resource. You know what? We can say you can buy moves. You can buy moves to put you back to where you can go. Right, right. So we'll say if you so on this one you roll the three. So you had one. So one Basically. minus three gives you a negative two. two. So now you can apply your money and resources to buy you some more moves. Whereas and then we'll see what happens with me, because I may have to end up doing that too, since I wanted opposite. So I'm putting you at a slight disadvantage where you got to use your money. But if I roll like a one or something like that. Because one is, is in the other direction. Did we say that right? Uh, you roll a one, you go up. I go up. Whatever the highest number is on that. Right, 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 right. Your three, it's the middle. So, so I got to make a decision right now? Let me see. So what should the three be since it's in the middle? Well, it's one, two, three, four. So either you subtract four, subtract two. No, I'm, it's opposite. So instead of adding moves, you subtract the moves. Because it only goes up to four, so it ain't going to really be that detrimental. You just have to hold on. What I roll? A three. A three. Yeah. So that means I only lose because it's opposite. Yeah, right? it's opposite. So I only lose one move because a three is basically a two. Yeah, that's that what we're saying. Two and three is probably gonna be the same. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then one and four is is the extremes. So basically, if it's opposite, I you I lose one move. Okay. So I only lose the move you had. The move I so, had, or the resource I want to use, right? Or, well, the resource would be used, to, you can only use resources to buy money, and that's how you put the stipulations on it. What can resources actually do? Resources can buy you money decisions, it could help to pay something off of credit, or you use it for okay. a partner, maybe you use it to buy a partner out or something like that. Okay. And so you add that rule to it. And this is what we're doing right now, it's called play testing. So we have a general idea, now we're playing it and trying mm -hmm. to see what that does. And so what you're supposed to do is have somebody to record and do what they need to do. So I think we just missed the file. So we got to switch over this segment, man. We have a good fun. This is like, it's going to be nothing but about gaming, man. This whole thing is about gaming. I think we might do that, though. We're going to make this a whole gaming we episode. Can, now we're putting the art. Now we're putting the art of the game. The art of the game, right? We're in the art of the game. game. <laughs> now we're putting the art of the game around. Art of the game. So we're going to leave the rules for a second. But we recorded this, so we can always go back. We're going to make this game. This, this is pretty hot. This is pretty hot. So now let's discuss. We're going to move to the art segment. 